This is the future. I know there are lots of Steinax videos out there already, telling you that the Warframe is great, overpowered, and an absolute monster. What else? Yes, Steinax is great because of his fourth ability. His fourth ability is a literal killer because it deals slash damage, and you all know how well those will turn into bleed procs. Also, the fact that Steinax got the ability to remove all defenses of an enemy makes him even better. No armor, nor shield, means easy melting with slash and bleed procs. However, what guys don't tell you is how do you survive with Steinax? Are you crazy squad leader? What are you smoking right now? Didn't you read or even try his third ability? Okay, so let's take a look at his third ability then. So, Rally Point allows Styanox to stand his ground and sounds a gallant call, increasing his threat level while raising his own and his allies' morale within 30 meters. Rally Point grants affected Warframes and Companions 3 energy points regeneration per second, with each kill or assisted kill by rallied allies restoring their shield points, which overflow into over shields. Once cast, Rally Point persists on affected allies, lasting for 30 seconds. Take note that if Styanax himself is the caster, shields per kill in energy regen values are displayed as an ability buff icon beside Styanax's hit point indicators. Take a look at that always, and see how much you get from this ability. You may say that the shield you get from killing enemies is sufficient, especially with a team, since this will allow you an infinite flow of shields, giving you more over shield which also increases the critical chance of weapons. By the way, his passive is called Hoplite, and it gives Styanax's weapon critical chance increases by 1% per 40 shield points, based on his current total including over shields. The passive bonus is doubled on Speargun's primary weapons, such as Styanax's signature Aphantis, Scourge, Prime, Ferox, and Javlock. Now, you could say this is a cool ability as it gives you shield, energy regen, and allows you to get critical chance through your passive but, I think this is the weakest ability of Steinax. Shield can indeed save you, and you can pair it with adaptation and arcane aegis for survivability, but that is not where the true survivability with shield comes. It comes from shield gating, and the best way to do it is to lower your shield value and make sure that you have a setup that can restore your full shield so you can take advantage of the one second invulnerability from shield gating every time. I did try to implement this technique by adding Sarin's Molt ability into Steinax, and replacing his Rally Point ability in the process. It was a great synergy since not only does it give shield gating, but it actually gives you aggro control too. Remember that Molt can aggro enemies up until it's active, giving you enough time to cast your ability. The build is well supplemented with Augur mods of course, and I think I have included almost all Augur mods plus a brief respite on the build. The only problem is, I needed to cast ability 2 times to get me that full over shield. His fourth ability will allow me to get full over shield, and mind you, this is with decaying dragon key by the way to lower shields. But his other ability won't let me do it, and they are always short with a tiny portion of shield to make it full and make use of the shield gating mechanic. I'm sorry I can't show you the clip, as I deleted the actual Molt Steinax running a mission, but the build goes like this plus, I got Augur packed in my secondary to give it more shield regen per ability cast. It works, as Molt gives you that safety also when casting your fourth ability because, when you are throwing those spears, you are vulnerable to enemy attacks, but good thing that digital extremes allow us to cast ability while our fourth ability is active, even subsumable abilities like Molt. It's a good combo but, I advise you to be very careful with this build as it is not for all, especially those who don't like the idea of watching their shield values almost every time, making sure that it is at full to take advantage of the shield gating mechanic. Now, for those who just want to simply enjoy Styanax, I know you don't want any Helminth builds involved, but honestly, I think the rally point is weird survivability for the Warframe, it allows you to gain a shield per kill which is actually good on paper, and if you think of it, every time you kill an enemy will give restore your shield. You just need to put adaptation and arcane aegis, and then rolling guard, and you will be protected for the rest of the mission. Right? That's true, but not at all times. It may sound very positive especially with a team, but once you activate the rally point, you draw almost all attention and this is when the problem occurs. Normally. 
you can counter the aggro with rolling guard but sometimes, you will need rolling guard to keep up with your depleting shield and also to somehow regenerate it to keep up with shield gating. Long story short, the aggro and shield regen mechanic is contradicting and I think digital extremes can somehow change the ability to the point wherein you activate your rally point. Steinax becomes invulnerable for a couple of seconds so he can take all the aggression from the enemies while keeping the Warframe safe. Another this that makes Rally Point a weak survivability tool for the Warframe is when Steinax is in the air performing his acrobatics with his fourth ability. Okay, one neat trick is that when you press jump, then your fourth ability, and then go press your first ability a couple of times and you will go to the moon. It's not that helpful, but it's kind of cool especially in open world areas. Back to the discussion, just like I have said, despite his fourth ability being powerful, it can leave Steinax vulnerable to enemy attacks. Digital Extremes can fix it by doing the same as Garuda, giving some invulnerability while casting, but I think they won't do that because it will make the ability overpowered. The only thing we can do now is use Molt, or any abilities like Resonator also that can aggro control enemies, and safely cast Final Stand. By the way, Titania's Lantern works too. It's aggro control or, being fully undetectable from enemies. I'm talking about invisibility. It's pretty to go invisible while with a team, as there are abilities like Ash Smoke Screen with the Augment that allows you to go invisible but in solo plays, you will be trusting the stalk ability of the Hurra's Cube Rao to give you that edge. However, don't ever use Rally Point because it will break the invisibility when you aggro enemies with it. With a Hurra's Cube Rao setup, Rally Point is pointless but I still kept it, since I replaced his first ability with Ensnare. This is just a personal choice, but I think Ensnare is way superior in terms of grouping and allowing you to hit multiple enemies with Steinax's Tharos Strike that removes all their defenses. The invisibility also gives safety while casting Final Stand, and it's very entertaining to kill enemies with Steinax abilities alone, especially when it melts Steel Path Acolytes. Another great subsume ability for this Warframe is Rhino's Roar, replacing the Rally Point ability. It gives you extra damage on the slash procs that you can easily melt enemies in seconds faster with your final stand ability even if you haven't removed their defenses with Thoros Strike. Now, I don't think Digital Extremes are inclined in buffing this free Warframe, but I think they should if they want it to be more interesting and appealing to the audience. Also, it's their 50 Warframe, and they should make it look good and enjoyable. However, I'm not saying that Steinax is a bad Warframe, as I just consider him as a glass cannon. He is super good in terms of damage but survivability is not his strongest. I would be happy if somehow, Digital Extremes would make a few changes but for now, with the current setup I have for him, the ensnare with the Hurra's Cubrow invisibility trick, and the shield gating mold trick, I can say that he is enjoyable. But again, not all would want to invest in the Helminth system just to make a Warframe super good. Now, let me know in the comments section below your thoughts about Steinax. Do you feel the same, or do you have a different opinion? Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.